Hey guys, today I'm here to do a review of The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. The Remains of the Day is set in post-World War II England and it follows Mr. Stevens, the middle-aged butler at Darlington Hall as he takes a brief vacation and road trip across the English countryside to go visit a former colleague and friend, Miss Kenton. And that's kind of it for the plot of this novel because what we actually read are Stevens' reflections on his time as a butler, specifically his career under the late Lord Darlington himself. One thing I found very interesting about this novel was the setting. I don't think I've ever read a novel set directly post-World War II before, uh, certainly not about a butler in post-World War II England. That also means that most of Stephen's memories are from directly before the war and you kind of slowly get to piece together through his memories and reflections what role Lord Darlington and the events at Darlington Hall played in kind of shaping and influencing the overall social and political climate and I found that very very interesting. I also found it interesting in the way that it tied in with Mr. Stevens' own sense of identity and his discussion of what it means to be a great butler. I also just want to mention real quickly that this novel feels very distinctly English to me, particularly in the sense that everything is very controlled and understated. Although this is one of Ishiguro's most beloved novels and it actually won him the Booker Prize, I was actually rather disappointed in it. Ishiguro's other novel, Never Let Me Go, is probably my favorite book of all time and I think no matter how hard I tried I really was comparing The Remains of the Day to Never Let Me Go kind of the whole time I was reading it. Also this book has been recommended to me more than any other book ever especially once people find out that I like Never Let Me Go they immediately ask me have you read The Remains of the Day and then they generally have something amazing to say about it. So I think my basic problem was that I went in with too high expectations and I really wish I could kind of go to an alternate universe where I'd never heard of Ishiguro or read Never Let Me Go and just experience this book for what it is on its own. That being said, I do think this is a novel that will improve upon rereading it and I think that it'll specifically be interesting to reread once I'm older. I feel kind of dumb saying this because I didn't actually make this connection until about the last five pages of the novel or so, but this novel deals with Mr. Stevens, who is what, middle-aged? He's a butler and he's slowly seeing other butlers retire and that way of life kind of um, falling off and disappearing. And he's already kind of hit the peak of his career and trying to figure out what to do in his post-Lord Darlington days. This novel literally deals with the remains of Mr. Stevens' day or his life. The remains of the day. As soon as I made that connection I instantly felt less disappointed in the novel and it just kind of made more sense to me why I wasn't as connected with Mr. Stevens as I was with the characters and Never Let Me Go. I'm 23 years old, still in school, I have yet to even start a career let alone have one to look back on, so essentially I'm still kind of in the morning of my day. If that makes sense. Of course that's not to say that you have to be middle-aged or retired to enjoy this novel. I think that if I had read this closer to graduation and the end of my undergrad career, uh, that would have been the end of a day, the end of a single phase. Um, it might have meant more to me or I might have connected with it more, whereas right now I'm kind of at the beginning of a new day, I'm starting a new phase of my life. How far can I push this metaphor? What? So those are all the thoughts that I wanted to share on the remains of the day. I did enjoy it. I believe I gave it three stars on Goodreads, but it didn't live up to the Never Let Me Go standard, even though it was probably unfair of me to compare them. If you've read the novel and you want to talk about it, please leave me some comments down below. I'm also going to be linking two reviews that I really enjoyed. One is from Sabrina from Unmanaged Mischief. She kind of had similar feelings to me. And then the other is from Ashley at Climb the Stacks. She actually really, really enjoyed the novel, so I just wanted you guys to get another perspective, a different perspective, so those links will be in the description box if you'd like to check those out. Anyways, that's all I have for the video. That's actually all I managed to read in March 2015, so go me, uh, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye! With Stevens, with Mr. Stevens, oh, oh okay. I also, oh, oh, that totally didn't make sense. Middle grade, middle, ugh.